It's a stunning, ravishing, gorgeous, beautiful game. It's not all Wembley and World Cups. It reaches all parts of the country, all communities. Passions run high. In football, if you're here for yourself, you'll go nowhere. In the good times. Ooh. And the bad. Someone's got to take responsibility. To do what? This is all true for one club, for one team, for one town. Gravesend in North Kent, once a thriving port town on the River Thames. More than 60 years ago, workers from across the Commonwealth were invited here to fill the jobs created by a booming economy. Among them were Sikhs from the rural Indian state of Punjab. Fast forward to today, and the town is home to one of the largest Sikh communities in the UK. second-generation British Sikh, Chippy Sire. Get in there! Three years ago, they left behind the Sunday leagues for the bottom rung of English football, and they've been winning leagues ever since. We love it. We love the football. We love the passion. And the team isn't just for Sikhs. It doesn't have to be a Sikh player, you don't have to be an English player, you don't have to be any sort of player. It, anyone who wants to come and play football is welcome at Punjab United Football Club. After back-to-back -back promotions, they're now in the Southern Counties East League Premier Division. Just eight leagues below the glitz and glamour of the English Premier League. The team has forged strong bonds in times of triumph, but they're about to face their toughest challenge yet, a fight for survival. Halfway through the new football season, and it's been far from a fairy tale for Punjab United. The days of trophies and titles seem to be a distant memory for Cookie the groundsman. Big party. <laughs> Big party every Saturday. No matter whether they won or drew, the hard we was getting, the bigger the party. But at this present minute, it's um, more like a mortuary than a, a disco. <laughs> Lofty, let's make it work. Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. let's do it. Owner Chippy is also the manager and hopes his team can get their first win in five matches. Boys, is that, hey, it's up to us to get out of trouble today. Come on, let's go. This is a place of Don't let yourselves yeah. down. Punjab United take on fellow strugglers Rust Hall. They're in their home strip of red and white. Cayman! Line! Line! This is non league football. A world away from crowds of thousands of multi million pound wage packets. But the passion is just the same. Make it! Stand up! Good tackle! Winning ways. Punjab United five, Rustall one. We needed this today. You know, just to get a victory. I think a long time coming. You've got to take the level seriously. Anyone that plays in non league football, I've got massive admiration for because, you know, you've got your normal nine to five job. If you do get paid, are quite minimal. So it isn't really about the money, it's about actually wanting to play at a decent level of football and representing your football club. Chippy's father, Kerval Singh, came to England in the 1950s. He worked hard as a carpenter and then opened his own construction firm, where Chippy works as a director. But this wasn't his dream job. 
and now I've dreamed to be a footballer. <laughs> I mean, with Mark, Mark Hughes not coming back here and work here. But yeah, like, it's, a great, it's great to be what we're doing, so I'm blessed, really. Chippy has always had footballing ambitions. When he was a boy, he dreamed of having his own football club. Three years ago, the time was right for Chippy to fulfill his dream. With some help from family and friends, he designed a football kit, and he even built a ground. Chippy finally had his own club. Its name, Punjab United. From what I heard, I don't know if this is true, from what I heard, they went to an Asian tournament, and don't quote me on this, and obviously Chip had obviously spoken about breaking away and making his own team. And one guy actually mentioned it. He said, why don't you call it Punjab United? And that's how it stuck. That's how it stuck. It stuck with that. <laughs> Do you want to tell us what it is? <laughs> that's where all, everyone originates from. I, Chippy, all the boys that were playing. All from Punjab, the families, and United, they all stand together. But Kevar was concerned about Chippy splitting his time between the club and his job. He said business comes first, really, so I think it's like a typical Asian parent. No, 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 you concentrate on the business. I think when we were arguing about something one day about football, I said, come on, get in the car. I picked up my mum and I took him down to the ground and I showed him, went for the game, and he goes, oh my God, he goes, you built this? I said, yeah, this is what we've built. You know, we're not just playing out in the park, you know, we're actually playing good standard of football. And he was so proud that we had a clubhouse built, you know, we had pictures up and, yeah, he came back and he goes, right, don't have a go at him about football, let him carry on now. Last season, William Johnson Cole was Punjab United's top scorer. I want to score as many goals as possible and get as much interest as possible. Will dreams of playing football at the highest level. At the beginning of this season, the team playing in a higher league, Seven Oaks Town, wanted to sign him, so he left Punjab United. Sometimes as a manager, you become selfish, thinking, no, I don't want to lose my best players. Seven Oaks come knocking, he said he wanted to go, and we sort of clashed. And then when he did leave, I felt, if you told me at the beginning in pre-season, maybe I could have signed someone else. So that, that is what I was more angry with. Things didn't work out for Will at Seven Oaks Town, so he asked Chippy if he could make his return. I could be a bit of a brat when I don't get what I want. I sulk and Chippy's exactly the same. I'm not going to fall out of no one over football. I think we've realised now over the years, you know, you got to be, you can't fall out over football. I'm not going to do that no more. So um, I've done it in the past. I'm not never going to do that again. I've been been looking forward to getting back with the boys that I've known for two, three years, four years, some of them since I was in primary school, some of them secondary school. I was just, I'm absolutely buzzing to get back and um, just be around the lads, just the atmosphere again, just the banter. Like I scored against Whitstable, 96th minute winner. It took about six ricochets, but I still claimed it. <laughs> it come out into the box, I hit it. It's come off, hit some geezer's fire. And then as it's hit some geezer's fire, some geezer's gone to do that. It's come off the inside of his flipping shit, off his uh, calf, and gone in, bro. I claimed it all day long. Right, before we go for a team, welcome back, William Colt. Coming back. Ooh. Right. Joe in goal. Came it's minutes right away from kickoff, and Punjab United are hoping Will can make a goal scoring start. For this match, they've made their way to South East London to play top of the league team Fisher. The match does not go to plan for the team, and Will is not happy. And Fisher's fans are keen to rub it in. Yeah, we play you everywhere! Yeah, we play you everywhere! Fisher have always had fans like that who are a little, a little bit leery, a little bit in your face. It creates good atmosphere, and it's, and it's what I like, you know what I mean? I like it when it's loud, I like it when people are on me and, you know what I mean, are screaming my name and watching me because, you know what I mean? You know, at the end of the day, you're paying to come and watch me play, so I love it. At full time, it's Fisher 4, Punjab United 1. Not the result we wanted, but, um, nah, it's, just, it's football, innit? I think um, he'd done all right. You know, I didn't like some of his attitude when he was shaking back a few players. I'm not going to tolerate that either. But he'd done all right. It's a hard game to come into, top of the league, you know? But I hate coming here, I hate losing. I'm sorry, but I just hate losing. <laughs> 
And losing like that as well, that's what oh, frustrates me. The following week, when Punjab United play Erith Town, it's another defeat. So in an article written on the football website, Chippy takes the blame for the team's poor performances. Hoping to turn things around, Punjab United play Chatham Town, an established club with over 100 years of history. One of the coaches is keen to tell Chippy not to be so hard on himself. You're right on of yourself was a bit harsh. You know, you could take some responsibility as a manager, and I absolutely understand that, but ultimately the players, that's why they were sitting where we are. Yeah, I know, I know, but I can't sometimes, mate, if you dig them all out on that sort of level, what response do you get? Yeah, but how much do you want to take on? That, that's more Punjab United playing their purple away kit. It's another poor performance and they're thrashed 4-1 by Chatham Town. We gave them that second half. You gave them that second half, not me. You 11 gave them that second half. And you lot got to take responsibility. I'm tired of taking it. I took the blame last week in the interview yesterday. It was not a good day at Chatham, absolutely. The defeat, the manner of the defeat, and more importantly, the way that I didn't like was the players that they were turning on each other. Now, people, listen, look at yourself and say to yourself, why are you here? You here for the right reasons or the wrong one? For yourself? If you're here for yourself, you're, you're doing everyone else. You're That's what you're terrible. doing. You yeah? If you're here for yourself, in football, if you're here for yourself, you'll go nowhere okay. and you're killing everyone else. That's what's happening. And all I'm saying is, we need to stick together. That's all I'm getting at. Everybody stick together. If we don't stick together, if we don't stick together, how are we going to go forward if we don't stick together? Someone ask me that. You expect high standards of each other. That's it. You, dig it. That's it. You, you take it as a compliment if someone's digging you out. Yeah. If someone's digging you out, it's a compliment because they expect better from you. Something's not clicking, as a, not individually, as a team, as a, as a whole collective unit. So I don't see where, what's going wrong. Isn't it? Daniel and Tom are vloggers who travel the country going to non league matches. Um, we're here for the Southern Counties East Football League Premier Division match between Punjab United FC and Cray Valley Paper Mills. Hope you enjoy the video. Looks a lot like the Arsenal kit. <laughs> it's nice. I like it. It's a, it's a different face of football that I don't think me and Tom knew existed. Well, so we just stopped off at the station, the station kiosk. kiosk. Tea and coffee. Kebab rolls come highly recommended. Could be tough for uh, Punjab United. It's back to the root. Yeah, it just feels, it feels a bit more honest. You know, when it, when it first started, however many years ago, it just feels it's a bit more true to that instead of the huge blown up business that it's become. Why do we do it? I mean, it's the love of football. And sounding super cheesy, but to hang out with this guy. <laughs> it, it, it is a good way to get away from yeah. normal routine. Yeah, life. yeah. Ooh. Oh, beautiful goal. It's going to be hard for Punjab to come back. Yeah, it really is. Do you think they'll stay up? Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm always optimistic. <laughs> so. no, He's an I Arsenal man. He's got me. Yeah. <laughs> As the teams beneath Punjab United begin picking up points, things go from bad to worse for Chippy and his team. BBC Radio Kent, on the air with John and Matt and the Big Sport phone-in. On tonight's show, we're going to be celebrating all that's good about the Southern Counties East League, a division primarily made up of teams from Kent, and we've also got the chair of the league here too. And that brings us on to, to Punjab United, who are a team who've come from nowhere really, and now they're in the, in the Premier Division. They're in a relegation battle now. Are you surprised about that? People coming up from Step 6 don't always realise how hard the Premier Division actually is. But I think you sometimes need a couple of years of consolidation and, and just get used to it, get used to the grounds, the facilities and the teams who you're competing against. And it's a hard competition. Punjab United are now fighting a relegation battle. They play Croydon in their home colours of red and white. Hey, referee, come on! You've got 45 minutes. That is it. You lose today, we will go down. Mark my words. Yeah! 
final score, one all. Next up, they're in their purple strip to play Beckenham Town. Two seasons ago, you was winning cups and getting promotion to now you're fighting a relegation battle. The pressure's all down on the players. Punjab United lose 1-0. It's Monday morning, and the stress of the relegation battle has even made its way to Chippy's office in Gravesend. It's a bit like this if the results haven't gone our way. As you can tell, it's very quiet, no radio, no nothing today. Chippy's come in, he's not too bad, but it'd be a lot more happy had it been three points. He's upset your whole weekend, didn't it? And everyone working for Chippy is keen to offer their opinion. I think your problem is not proper training. The boys are getting tired in the end, last 10, 15 years. Yeah, well, we said this about training now, yeah. So that's, that's where mm. they can play for 60, 17 years, but... Tired. It's worth sucking up. You go down, but you've had a, you've had a good little one. I oh, know, it'd be a shame to go down, that's the problem. Well, Mm. Try three at the back. Huh? Try three at the back. Yeah. Does that last all day, that sort of mood? No, not all day. I think um, give it till about 10, 11 o'clock. He'll be on to what we're having for lunch and he'll be happy again. He's not one to dwell on things. It's, it's done. Let's move on to the next game. But then it keeps happening. You say that it does keep happening, but Sometimes you've got to give the credit to the other teams. Chippy decides to take himself away from it all and comes to check on the progress of Punjab United's under-7s team. He likes to remind himself what football is all about. Hello, Chippy. How are you, son? What's happening? You all right? Yeah. What are we doing? There's the number one goalkeeper. Well, I'm not a goalkeeper anymore. Why? You're the best go goalkeeper. Oh, my God. I'll go and go. I normally come and watch uh, the, uh, the under-7s on, on a Sunday morning and they just make me laugh, to be honest. And uh, everything about Saturday just disappears. So I just love watching these. Like, go when you smile and you play and you've got the friendship, you've got the unity. Don't get me wrong, the passion on a Saturday, you can't take that away. You know, when we win and we play well, it's, you can't beat it. The buzz you're feeling all weekend is fantastic. But when you are down in the dumps on a Saturday, which I have been a lot this year, these guys and don't have no ego. Why do you need ego for on a Saturday? You don't. You know, you see these boys here, they're, they're, they're fantastic. You know, they all play for each other. I remember in the cup final, they were 5 0 down, they made five, six mistakes. I think they scored three own goals in about five minutes. But not, you see one of them argue, not one. And in the second half, they scored three goals in a couple of minutes and made a fantastic go of it. You know, and they all hugging each other at the end, saying, oh, how well did we do done this? This is what football is all about. It's Saturday night in Gravesend. To try and get things back on track, Chippy has decided to take his team for a night out on the town. Win or lose, Punjab United Football Club. I think that night I organised was probably the best thing I've done, to be honest. We will get through this. Trust me, we will get through this. And this is, this is going to test everyone's character, what we're all about as a club. I think that sort of gave everyone that lift of confidence that, look, we are good friends off the pitch. Let's go and show how good we can be. As a boy, Will always had a dream of being a top footballer. And that dream almost came true when, at 14 years old, he was scouted by top club Crystal Palace. But at just 18, his dreams were shattered when the club released him. It did take a major knock on me, to be fair. Since then, Will has wanted to prove those who doubted him wrong and get back to playing the highest level of football that he can. But his recent dip in form has caused him to question 
his own ability. I always set my standards high on the pitch, off the pitch. I haven't done what I've set out to do, really, and that's come back to the club and score goals. I've definitely put you down for trying, mate, because you're too much of a trier. Let your game flow again. You know what it was? I think it's where you're a baller naturally. You've never really had this problem in your career. No, no, You've no. never had to think about it, and I think where you're thinking about it, you're making it harder. Well, what I find is whenever I know I'm good at saying and I'm not hitting my notes, I take myself out of that zone. I tend to take myself out, give myself a little break. Just clear my head, clear all things around me, just have a just live life normal. But it happens in anything you do. Anything you do, you know, you're doing it 24-7 and you're putting your all into it. Sometimes you can put too much and you sort of lean to one side where you should just let it flow. I mean, I know there's people out there that are doubting me at the minute. That's the sort of fuel I like to sort of go out there and, and prove, prove people wrong. Yeah, there you go. Start studying again. The next match is on the outskirts of Maidstone against Bearstead. Days before the game, their manager boasted about his side's chances of beating struggling Punjab United. Yeah, we have a decent side out today, so hopefully, yeah, I'm expecting, uh, I'm expecting three points. Get three goals at least. We close down from the top, we work hard from the top, we work hard in the middle, we're hard at the back. You've seen what their manager said, they're going to score three against us. He keeps saying that, he said it again today. All right, go out there and shut him up. Punjab United are back in red and white. By half time, it's already 3 0 to Bearstead. Hey, I'm not going in. Bring him here. Go, go. They are poor, but they're just hungry. They want to work harder than you. You haven't worked. You haven't worked. It's simple as that. I think we went into the game with a wrong mentality. Tempers flare and things get said. Me and him had a little argument half time and that's why it pulled me off. I was, I was fuming. Will, Will, yeah. come off mate, please. Andy, you're coming on. Andy's coming on. I've had enough. Not having it, I'm not having someone to keep moaning. I'm trying to, I'm trying to flip and help out the team. I'm trying to tell you what I'm seeing on the pitch. Yes. And you're flipping left back for me. everybody else. Coming, shut up, right? Keep him up top. Punjab United start the second half with a massive mountain to climb. Which one are you tired? They're looking fresh. What do you make this club for? What, to do this? I don't know what to say to you lads, Otzi. I just felt you're going to go down if you play like this every week, or you battle, you come back to training on Tuesday, and you show me that you want to be part of this club. It's the day of the sake one of the biggest festivals in the Sikh calendar. So we're at the Grazing Sikh Temple today. Grazing are going to do a big march today. I think it's been going all over the country, all over the world today. So it's the birth of the Khalsa. It's like a harvest festival. The Sikhs celebrate it. Every year, Gravesend hosts a procession involving thousands of people. It's a great day for us, a great day for Sikhs. Um, it's a show, you know, that we are, we're here, we're diverse, you know, we, it's, a, it's a great religion to be in, it's peaceful. Whilst the rest of the town enjoy the day, Chippy makes time to pray, but then he has to head to the team's next match in East Sussex. Look, I'd like to be at both, but, you know, football, we've got to go and win a, we've got to go and win a game, so we've got to get the football. <laughs> As the match is about to get underway, back in Gravesend, Punjab United's relegation fight is still very much on their fans' minds. Good luck, Punjab United. Hope you win today. Come on, Punjab. Oh, Punjab, well done. I would tell them to just go out there and save their reputation and just do what they love doing. You know, leagues don't mean anything. I mean, like, you just have to play football. It's not about the money, it's just about the football. And 
nil-nil draw gives Punjab United a much-needed point. The teams beneath Punjab United are gaining ground on them. Their survival in this league comes down to a crunch match against AFC Croydon. If they win, they stay up. But boys, listen, we know how important this game is for us, yeah? We got to make sure we pick up three points today. All right, leave it all out there today. Do not let yourselves down and don't let this club down today. Punjab United are in purple. The match gets off to a frantic start. And AFC Croydon take the lead. Yes. Let's lock it in. At half time, passions run high. No one can lead, no? No one can lead, no? To do what? what, what, what boys to do what? Here? Someone's got to take responsibility. Doesn't matter, it's on the back, midfield, forward. But you guys got to step up now. And Will even has a run in with one of the other team's players. We went to the change room, 1 0 down, and as I've just got into the change room, he goes, enjoy relegation. And I thought, <laughs> I turned around and looked at him and I thought, wait, what? The second half begins and Punjab United come out fighting for their lives. Will levels the score, but only a win will do. I'm quite a religious person. I always pray every morning, I pray every night, and all I can say is he's blessed me with a lot of opportunities, and I've taken them. Time! Will shoots. Punjab United win 2-1. They're Brilliant. safe from relegation. Well done, Will. Right, well done. Good boy. We've been arguments, we've had disagreements, but when you play like this, no one in this league's gonna touch you. As the stress of the season wears off, Chippy and members of the club visit the Gurdwara to give thanks for staying up and to receive a blessing for next season. When you're winning, it is fantastic. It's when you're losing, you find out how good you are as a manager, how good your team is. Oh, I'm going to enjoy my family time for six weeks. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do. And as for Cookie, the groundsman, he's feeling a bit brighter about Punjab United's future. I had no doubt, and I always knew that we'd be safe. And I knew it's not over until the fat lady sings. <laughs>